We're ready to go. Okay. All right, we're going to start out with Jamal Haynes. Questions for Jamal? Go ahead, Kelly. How are you feeling after you know playing a game and travel and all that stuff, getting ready this week? Uh, I feel really good this week. Um, definitely coming off a pretty big game, pretty strong win. But like Coach said, we got to move our eyes, move our eyes forward and continue to look onto the plan and execute the plan, which is winning the ACC championship. So that's week by week, day by day, uh, practice by practice. Chad. You uh, speak to the uniqueness of this matchup. I mean, they're right down the road. You know, obviously, a lot of guys, they know you guys uh, playing Georgia State for the first time. Uh, absolutely. It's definitely an opportunity for uh, this um, NCD State Championship. So I definitely think it's a big opportunity. I do know a lot of players over there. So I feel like there's a lot of similarities to the guys that we have on the offense and defensive side of the ball, and including special teams. So definitely a special opportunity and ready to go to work. Your, your running back group, uh, some guys are starting to get a chance to, you know, get some reps. Chad got out there, did a good job. You know, what what are you seeing from the group as a whole? And is there anyone else we should be looking out for? Um, I really see the same thing every day. I mean, not the exact same thing every day, but the way Coach pushes us to work hard and he pushes everybody to learn the offense as if they're the starting back. So anybody can get out there and put in the work and do exactly what they're told, especially from doing it every day in practice. So I feel comfortable and very confident in any guy that goes out there to execute the game plan. With the change in pace of play, you guys slowed down and, and eight o'clock and the new clock rules and all that stuff. How did you feel about the pace of the play in the first game? And was it a little more comforting maybe going a little slower in terms of just being able to catch your breath and be refreshed during the game? Um, comfortable. I could say, yes, it was comfortable. But on the flip side of this, it, it's all a part of the game plan. Whoever Coach Buster Faulkner or whatever Coach Key has for our game plan, we're just going to go out there and execute it. Rather it's go fast, fast pace, or rather it's go slow and control the clock. So. You, you have a couple of tight ends now that are laying some pancakes for you. Uh, I, I, I noticed on the one play, Jackson Hawes, you know, kicking the guy out. You know, how, how exciting is it for you as a running back to see that happening now? Uh, very exciting. Um, last year, we definitely had two guys that was doing that exact same job, pulling, uh, catching the ball from that tight end position. So it was definitely a special opportunity for them to go in there and showcase their talents game one. Jackson Hall specifically, he had a hell of a game on game uh, last week. So we just want to build off that and keep going. But it's definitely exciting knowing that he can go in there and pull out those guys from the, um, from the box. Great job. How about left tackle? What were your impressions of Corey and Jordan playing out there together? Yeah, I know there's like a little role there that they got going, rather it be 50-50 uh, uh, splitting snaps or whatnot. But me personally, I'm fully confident. I talk to both of them every day. I'm fully confident in our left tackles. Uh, rather who gets in, rather who doesn't get in. Rather, I know they're both going to go in there and execute the job, especially with Coach G coaching them. How many times have you seen the clip of you cutting back on the, the two guys and making them run into each other on the sideline? On that uh, I probably posted it about once or twice after that I deleted my Instagram. And yeah, <laughs> trying to stay off social media. You know, uh, like Coach Key says, a win and a loss can be both distractions. So I'm trying to keep the distractions out the way. Well, I follow up, so you deleted your social media? Yes, sir. Talk about that, why you did that? And uh, just stay focused. You don't, you don't want all the extracurriculars, just distractions coming in. I mean, last year, we did a pretty good job. The year before, everybody knows about the past of Georgia Tech. You didn't really get all those comments after a big win, or you really didn't get all the support that you need. So it will be a lot of extracurricular people, extra people that will come in, try to be in your ear. Hey, y'all doing good? Y'all doing good? Just blocking out the nonsense. The second year under Coach Faulkner, does that allow you guys to be more efficient than maybe you were last year? Uh, absolutely. More efficient and more comfortable inside the offense. You know, Coach Buster, he comes with a lot of formations, a lot of motions, a lot of shifts. So just being inside the offense your second year definitely makes you more comfortable to what you want to do and what you want to execute on game day. Anything else for Jamal? Okay. Appreciate you, Jamal. Thank you all. Thanks, man. Have a good one. You too.